Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to tell you a little story. In the land of who cares, in a little town called, I'll get on with the story. <laughs> there lived a man, a young man named Luigi. I'm kidding, that's more. His name was Levi. Levi. <laughs> Levi lived in a town that was devoid of any sort of fashion, except for a simple purple undergarment. <laughs> this undergarment was not very pretty or amusing. And so Levi sought to give an alternative to his little town. Levi wanted to bring joy to the people of his town. He wanted to rid them of the disgust of their lack of fashion options. He wanted to rid them of their anger. He wanted to give them an alternative to sadness. <laughs> and most of all, he wanted to rid them of their fear of the lack of fashion of <laughs> And so, in a fervor of creative fury, he began sculpting a master. <laughs> oh, dear. It's amazing. It's disgusting. Of course, he didn't get it on the first try. His emotions were so much and so he tried again. <laughs> and he tried again. <laughs> and he tried again. Oh my <laughs> it was at this point that a large group of Navajo Indians ran through. That wasn't part of the story, we just did it for extra points. At this point, he had given much thought and much time and so he went to bed, leaving himself alone to his thoughts. No one, what might be the best option? No one's ever going to like us. We're never going to move out of Mother's basement now. <laughs> the wall of failures. Mother didn't like that very much. I <laughs> know what to do. It's okay, guys. There's still hope. No, there's not. <laughs>